Ah, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute. What's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Do you see the blue kingfisher? I can't see. Oh, I see something. Bye-bye, <gasps> birdie. Oh, man. Maybe next time. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? A meerkat. Huh? A meerkat is up on my head, Leo. Zumi and I found a family of meerkats looking for a new home. A family of meerkats? How many of them are there? A few. Do you know where we should take them? I think that's a question for our computer. To the treehouse? Race you there. Let's see. Meerkats. Here we go. Meerkats live in groups called mobs. They can be found in the deserts and grasslands of Africa. A mob of meerkats lives together in underground burrows. Living underground keeps them cool and safe from other animals. Everyone in the mob has a job to do. Some meerkats look for food, some babysit, while some are sentries. Sentries stand in high places and look out for danger. When they sense danger approaching, they warn the rest with an alarm call. The mob will then run and hide in their burrows. So, the meerkats on top of your heads must be the sentries. I guess they wanted a better view, but they cannot stay on top of my head forever. We need to help the meerkats find a new place for their burrows. Yes, we do. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go help the meerkats find a new home. Huh? Was that an alarm call? Hi, Jane. Oh, no. What's wrong? They are afraid of you and Katie. The sentry sounded an alarm. The meerkats think we're a danger to them. Don't be scared. We're here to help. Huh? What are they digging at? They are trying to get to their old home. But it doesn't look anything like an underground burrow. What happened? Hmm. The sand. It is damp. There was a flood. Ah, oh, the burrow was destroyed. Poor little meerkats. It's no wonder they're looking for a new home. Come on, Junior Rangers. It's up to us to help them. Let us help you find the perfect new home. I think they like the idea. They should do. All right. Hop on, everyone. Let's roll. Hero? Oh, it looks like we're full. But I'm sure we can find some space for you and Zumi. Do not worry, Katie. We will follow on foot. All right. Then away we go. It is you two again. Come now. Hang tight. This is perfect. There are trees for them to look out from, plenty of sand, and lots of open space for them to build their burrows. And look, neighbors. Aw, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute. What's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Uh-oh. We have to stop them. Huh? What's that? Is it a hawk? Is it an eagle? No, it is Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! And not a moment too soon. You've got to get those meerkats out of here. Meerkats aren't neighborly animals. They're territorial. Territorial? That means they don't like other meerkats that are not in their mob coming into their space. What you just saw was a meerkat war dance. By fluffing out their fur and raising their tails, they're trying to make themselves look bigger and scarier than they really are to chase other meerkats away from their home. Oh no! They're at it again! 
Meerkat sentries have a special call to warn the others of danger, right? Uh-huh. I know a way to stop them. Katie, on my command, I need you to play the Meerkat alarm call on your tablet. The rest of us will grab our Meerkats and get into Platypus One quick. Their alarm call? <gasps> oh, I get it. Sure thing. We're going to make them forget all about the fight. Rangers, are you ready? Ready when you are, Leo. All right. Katie, hit it. It is working. The meerkats are distracted by the call. Now's our chance to get them out of here. Quick, grab as many meerkats as you can. You're coming with me. We have to go now, meerkats. Pardon me. Oops. Sorry. Ugh, this is uncomfortable. And that's everyone. Then let's get out of here. If you're looking for a new home for the meerkats, I know a place. So, what do you think? There's a lot of space for you to build burrows. And I don't see other meerkats around. There is also a tree for you, Sentry. I think they're finally home. Mission accomplished. Huh? Hero, stop teasing it. Just give it the fruit. <laughs> the tortoises. <laughs> he won't find any under there. Galapagos tortoises are huge. Really? How big can a tortoise be? Oh! <laughs> that big. Whoa! <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it looks like you found one, Peyo. Let's find out for sure. I've just sent you a photo, Katie. Can you check it out? I'm already on it. Let's see. It's indeed a Galapagos tortoise. They are the world's largest tortoises and can weigh more than a fridge. Their shells are not solid and are made up of honeycomb structures that hold small air chambers. This makes the shell lighter and easier for the tortoise to carry. The shell also protects it from predators. Galapagos tortoises can live to about a hundred years. Whoa, a hundred years? <sighs> what was that? <laughs> Hero! Pika! Look happy either. I think they're fighting. Do you think they're fighting over those fruits? Hmm. A green apple? Stop! What is it? What's wrong? Don't touch that! Step away from the fruit! That's the fruit of the manchineel tree! The most dangerous tree in the world! All parts of it are poisonous! Phew! That was close. Thanks, Peo. <gasps> are they harmful to tortoises? Nope. Galapagos tortoises actually eat those poisonous apples. <sighs> Eeks! What can we do to stop them from fighting? I've got an idea. Ready, Hero? Let's lure them away from each other. <laughs> careful not to touch the fruit, guys! Please be extra careful. Don't worry, we'll be careful. All right, Hero, let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Over here, Tortoise! It's working! Slow and steady! Well done, buddy! Here you go! Huh? Hero, stop teasing it! Just give
give it the fruit. Buddy, over here, guys. We have to flip it back on its feet. On the count of three, let's flip it together. Ready? Ready! Ready. One, two, three. Flip it over. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <sighs> it's so heavy. Oh, hi, Ranger Rocky. How's it going over there, Leo? Oh, found any Galapagos tortoises yet? Yes, we have. But one of them flipped over on its shell. Oh, dear. That sounds like a tricky situation. Galapagos tortoises have two main shell shapes, domed and saddleback. Some are shaped in between the two extremes. Domed tortoises have rounder shells and shorter necks. Saddleback tortoises have flatter shells with a raised neck opening resembling a saddle, as well as longer necks and limbs. Do you need my help, Junior Rangers? Nope. We got this, Ranger Rocky. We'll figure it out on our own. All right. I better get back to counting tortoises then. Keep me posted, and good luck. Ranger out. Ranger out. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. We'll flip you over in no time. Ta-da! Oh, wow! Cool! All right, everyone grab the rope. Ready? Ready! Ready. <laughs> this is going to work for sure. Three, two, one, pull! <laughs> Almost there! <laughs> Leave it to me. Got it. Yay! Yay! Awesome! We did it! Just in time. Ranger Rocky, we did it! We flipped the tortoise back on its feet. And we did it all by ourselves. Amazing work, Junior Rangers. Well done. No more fighting. It's time to settle this once and for all. May the best tortoise win. Ready, set, go! Come on, tortoises. Juicy, non-poisonous apples await you. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! go, go. Mission accomplished. Ooh. A mole? That's a mole, Hero. Moles live in holes and tunnels that they dig underground. We call those tunnels burrows. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm in South Australia right now, and you won't believe what I just found. It's a large burrow with mysterious tracks all around the entrance. And guess what? There are cube-shaped rocks stacked outside. Yuck! And they're stinky. I wonder what animal lives inside. I'll send you guys a photo of the stinky cube-shaped rocks. Stinky cube-shaped rocks? That's weird. Kyle, we'll look for more information about this mysterious animal. In the meantime, be careful and don't go into the burrow. We don't know what could be inside. Roger that. I'll be right outside waiting. We'll get back to you soon. Ranger out. It seems the rock isn't a rock after all. It's poop, and it belongs to the wombat. Wombats are the only animals known to produce poop that's cube-shaped. Wombats are also one of the largest burrowing mammals in the world. So Kyle found a wombat's burrow. He wouldn't go in without us, would he? Hello? Is anybody in there? Are these cube-shaped rocks yours? Hello? Ah! Ah! Oh, 
no. That's not good. Hey, Leo. It's me again. Hi, Kyle. You're breaking up. Is everything all right? Yeah, uh, about that. We found more information about the animal you were looking for. It's a wombat. And the stinky rocks you saw are actually the wombat's poop. So I'm stuck in a wombat burrow? Cool. Stuck? What do you mean? Well, I was just waiting outside the burrow, but then I fell inside. By accident. And the entrance collapsed behind me. Oh, no. Are you okay, Kyle? I'm fine. It's just a little dark in here. But I have some snacks with me, so all's great. Good. Katie and I will be right over to get you out of there. Ranger, out. Oh, well. When in trouble, have some chocolate. It's so big. I wonder what animal lives in there. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What were you doing in there? I was practicing my burrowing skills with these claws. What are you doing here? Junior Ranger Kyle is stuck in a burrow after finding some cube-shaped poop. But we're having trouble finding him. Cube-shaped poop? That has to be from a wombat. Wombats leave their cube-shaped droppings outside burrows to mark where they live so other animals stay away. When startled, they may dive back into it. Is everything all right? Not really. I ran out of chocolate. Are you here yet? Hey, what's the sound? <gasps> it's a baby wombat. Look, I found a new friend. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I'm glad you found a friend, Kyle. Hang in there. We're coming for you. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. Let's split up to look for him. Ranger Rocky, can you take that part of the forest? We'll take the other. Great idea, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Leo, it's a wombat. Could the burrow that Kyle is trapped in belong to that wombat? Let's follow it and find out. <gasps> it's a dingo! Hero, come back! No, Leo. We should be following the wombat instead. It might lead us to its burrow and Kyle. I'm sure Hero will be fine. He'll be able to handle the dingo. We have to save Kyle. You're right, Katie. Let's go. A wombat burrow. It's the exact same stack of poop. Kyle's hat. We are at the right burrow. Be careful, Katie. It might be the dingo. Ranger Rocky! Hero, you're all right! Hello, Junior Rangers. I saw Hero chasing a dingo away. Is everybody all right? Yes, we are. Is this the burrow Kyle is trapped in? Yes, it is. Well then, what are we waiting for? I'm glad I practiced my burrowing skills. Let's help them too, Katie. They're here. You see that, baby wombat? My friends are here to save me. Hero found something. Pants? Thanks for coming to get me, guys. Can I have my pants back? Hero tried to pull me out, but he pulled my pants off instead. It was nice meeting you today, baby wombat. Thanks for letting me stay in your home for a while. And thank you for getting me out of there, guys. Oh, I wish I could offer you some chocolate, but I'm all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.